Back in school, did you take a history class? And when it was over, did you ever wonder what happened before all that? What shaped the landscapes that humans would eventually call home? Well, in this series, I'll be taking you on a tour around the world and uncovering the Earth's hidden past. This is Prehistory. If you've ever driven across Iowa, you probably noticed a few things. Low rolling hills and corn. Lots of corn. But it didn't always look like this. The oldest rocks in the state are almost two billion years old, an outcrop in the northwest corner. Called the Sioux Quartzite, this sandstone was compressed by the tectonic forces that shaped America, turning it into the solid, blocky rock. Turns out, it makes for pretty good building material and pavement for roads. Driving north on I-35, the Sioux Quartzite is what turns the road from gray to pink. The next event in the rock record happened a billion years before the Civil War, and it records a time when America tried to split from east to west, rather than north to south. This rift valley doesn't appear at the surface in Iowa, but it can still be seen using magnetic imaging on the bedrock. As for sedimentary rock, when they appear at the surface, these follow a general pattern. Oldest in the northeast, youngest in the west. Most of our sedimentary rock was laid down in warm, shallow seas, starting in the Cambrian. Trilobites and other primitive invertebrates are common in these rocks, with tons of coral and clams showing up as you follow the Mississippi south. The age of fishes begins in this area, with some neat stuff showing up near Decora, and a really cool exposure called the Devonian Fossil Gorge. A dam here broke in the 90s, and it revealed tons of fossils, including the remains of some giant, dangerous fish. As the Devonian wore on, the coast retreated, letting this area fill with swampy marshlands. This gave rise to the extensive coal deposits in southern Iowa. And then, time skips again. Sea rocks can deposit in many places, but they erode just as easy. As sea levels rise and fall and continents move around, different areas will deposit and erode. When looking at the rock record, it's like if someone cut out a section of a tape and then connected the remaining pieces. Something had to have happened during the cut, but no record remains. As for where this tape resumes, we cut all the way to the late Jurassic, when dinosaurs like Allosaurus and Stegosaurus ruled the American West. This area was underwater again, but apparently it was really shallow, or it was seasonally hot, because these rocks are filled with gypsum. Gypsum's a mineral that drops out of the water as it dries, so areas with tons of evaporation can produce thick layers of gypsum-bearing rock. This has been mined quite a bit, in areas like Fort Dodge, 